are you praying? Chili, why you but Valentina say things to get under your skin? Why are you sitting there crying and shedding tears, bro? The drugs in your bum is crazy. Guys, let's talk about this baddies UK. Baddies UK, whatever they want to call it. Can I just say, first of all, yeah, I'm sure everyone in the UK has been seeing what's going on this baddies UK that they want to now come and bring to the UK. Miss Lani, good. <laughs> Someone give me the definition of baddies UK. I don't understand. They seen the phrase baddies. Are you guys sure you lot put baddies on this show? Two, Miss Lani. Let's talk about Lani because Lani confuses me. Lani, I never understood Lani since the day that Tion Wayne robbed her. I'm so sorry. How can you create a whole show? This was many era seven episodes, guys. We only got two episodes done. These men are talking about coming to the UK. Lani couldn't even afford to pay for the girls' flight back to the UK, the ones that want to come back. What happened to the money that Tion Wayne gave her? Did he even give that money back? Instead of focusing on that financial crisis, she decided to go focus on doing baddies UK across the board abroad. This is not real. This can't be real. Now, right, watch matching. That is a bumbuck. Yeah, just said, I think it's just said, remember, I'm so I snap that. Everyone can see it. You get it. You can see 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 it. You can From a long time ago. Where's your phone? Fuck sake, man. Not every single door. Not every single door. Not every single door. Not every single door. We're taking everything. I don't know this. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Wait,
over there, bear quiet as well. Like, you can't take the phone for next villain. Get the phone here. The phone is getting taken. You can't take the phone. Boring now. They say Bora. Seems like you're a pro shade lover. The arguments wet like rain cover. Imagine if you was his baby mother. Gyal down, gyal down. Couldn't ever be a man clown, man clown. Gyal down, gyal down. You should never be a man clown, man clown. Gyal down, gyal down. Thought you was a queen, but I pick up that crown. Gyal down, gyal down. Crying me around my everyday clown. Everyday Tion, everyday. Not everyday Tion. Take to see act like Leon looking at my phone. It's boring now. Everyday shade borer. Seems like you're a pro shade lover. The arguments wet like rain cover. Imagine if you were. got your attention for about like 30 seconds i'm gonna need you lot to go ahead and follow my new instagram account your girl got disabled at 30k there's so many instagram accounts of me i only have this new one here i don't own no other instagram account okay guys so go ahead and follow my instagram account so stop what you're doing before you watch this video I'm gonna need you lot to go ahead and go and follow my new Instagram account before I drop part two of this story time. So go ahead. I'm away. Don't take too long. Pause the video right now. Come off the fucking YouTube app. <laughs> follow my new Instagram account. Underscore one Miss R Fabulous. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. I'm a pretty girl. I'm a hustler. This bitch is acting tough. What the fuck is up? I got you acting up. You wasn't bad. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Miss R Fabulous Pretty Pun Any Side I'm Pretty Now Real Life. Way oi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for passing by. My name is Renee, also known as Big R Fab, not the little one. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. So returning subscribers, big up you lot. I love you guys like I love my cheese and beef patty, period. To say UK baddies has been an absolute fucking nightmare. This this whole journey with you know the UK baddy so stressful but I'm gonna cover these parts in part one and part two I had to make it into a part two situation because of how long it is I like to do my story times with receipts there's no story times if you don't have no receipts also before I get into this video I am starting my own podcast channel which I will be you know interviewing people I will be telling people stories people do have the opportunity to send in their stories and I will turn it into kind of a dilemma situation. It's not 100% a dilemma because I will be telling the person's story the same way I sit on my YouTube platform and I tell my story about the way men have done me and the things I've gone through in my life. It's the same way I'm going to be giving people around the world chance to send in their stories to me with receipts, videos, messages, screenshots, anything. It has to have receipts in it. And I'm with Auntie Fabulous and Mummy Fabulous, who will be the stars. And they will basically be reacting to you guys stories along with myself i will try and bring other people that can also react to your story so if you do want to be a part of it if you do want to share your story around the world it, it doesn't have to be about men it could be about a time where you've had a domestic violence with someone a girl's done this to you you want me to put it out there in the world definitely make sure you are following my podcast channel it literally will be under this video it will be listed in the link in the description box below so go ahead and subscribe to my podcast channel and yeah we're gonna get straight into this video so just a disclaimer every single cast member that was on uk baddies are these girls i don't know not one of these females that is on uk baddies one of these females can come and tell you they know me they know of me for being in the drama they know of me because they've been trying to get clout off me. They know of me because they're fake beefing with me for clout. But none of these girls on social media or any of these girls that was in the villa can say they know me, they've met me, met me in real life, we've gone out. Or one of these girls can say to you that they know me apart from Milani, Blood, Clark, Goods. Not one of them. And a lot of these girls that was going into the villa 
When they found out that I was coming to the villa, they wanted to beef me. They want to fight me for clout. They want to fight me for retweets. They want to fight me for likes and everything. And I say this in the most humblest way, because if we're going to be speaking facts, let's speak facts. At the end of the day, so when they found out that I was going on there, it was Rene, the, Rene now. We need to get Rene. We need to do this. So I'm just letting it be known before I get into this story time. These girls that had a problem with me can ever tell you that they've met me in real life or where this problem stems from or where this beef is coming from. They're beefing themselves. I ain't fighting no bitch and I'm not beefing no girl that I don't have no real life problems with and that's never met me and I've never been friends with them. What do you not think this is? You wake up in the morning on one Sunday morning picking up to, to beef this person and that person because you want clout. I'm sorry, but find another way to get your followings up. UK baddies got brought to my attention when I was in Jamaica. When I through TikTok, I would see people talking about the whole UK baddies. I would see Lani posting videos on her TikTok saying, oh, she's going to be starting a show. And you know me, I just basically inserted myself in it. I was just basically just taking the piss at the time. I wasn't being serious about going on. I wasn't being serious about being a part of the show. I just thought it was funny. Lani reached out to me. She asked me if I would be a part of her show. I think at the time, I didn't really give her like a solid answer. I didn't really say yes or no. I didn't really say anything to her. I just left it in the air floating. But my friend Shelly reached out to me and she was talking and she told me, oh, like, UK baddies, did it, did it, are you going to UK baddies or whatever? I said, no, nah, but she reached out to me. She told me that she, there was a girl going on you that's on UK baddies that she basically has beef with, that she wants to slap up. And she said that she wants to go there because it's her only time to, act, to actually see the girl. She don't feel like she's going to see the girl in the UK because since this incident between them two happened, she hasn't really seen the girl. So she feels like this is her only opportunity to go there and to see the girl. But I said to her, yeah, Lani reached out to me. Lani wants me to come. Lani wants to pay me. Because me, I'm not leaving the UK to go to another country. Or I'm not going to participate in nothing if I'm not getting a bag. I'm not doing shit for free. Respectfully, you want to put me on your show because you want views. So when Lani reached out to me, me and her started having a conversation. Me and her started speaking. She was like, oh, she wants me to be a part of the show. She really wants me to be on there. I'm going to insert clips because you guys know i'm the queen of receipts period and i told her my, my fee i said i'm 5k and she said that's a bit too much for her she can't afford it she tries to bring the price down i said all right 2k she sent me 500 pounds deposit because i said you gotta send me a deposit because i'm not wasting my time i've contacted shelly now text back shelly and i told her what lani's paid my deposit um i'm gonna book my flights there's a bit that i want to say how shelly even became to be a part of the cast it's because when me and her was having a conversation, she brought to my attention that Birdie's going over there. I don't know Birdie. Don't give a fuck about that girl. I've never met her day in my life, respectfully. I don't know her to chat about her like that because I don't know the girl. The only thing I know about her is that she was on a kidnapper case on, for kidnapping Florence and giving Florence drugs. Other than that, I don't really know the girl. But Shelly made me understand that the only reason why she wants to fuck up Birdie is because Birdie spoke about her youth. So she's told me she wants to go to UK baddies to fuck up Birdie. She says she don't care about nothing else. She doesn't care about the show. She doesn't care about being on the show. She just wants to go and fight Birdie. Because she's found out that Birdie's going to be there. So that's what she wants to go and do is fight Birdie. She don't care about nothing else, respectfully. I'm like, okay, cool. I've reached out to Lani and I've said to Lani, I feel like this person would be a great person for the UK baddies. Yes. Another thing, I'm coming with my friend, and I don't know like who you got on the show, obviously, because like you've not actually said like who, like who you picked and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna bring someone to you, and I think you, she should be on it. I feel like she. I'm not just saying it because she's my friend. I feel like she would be a really, really calm, a really good person on the show. What happens? Right. Okay. Because a lot of people don't like her on social media. Um, and she does get a bit of hate like myself. But she's on... That's enough. We need this one now. Because she never forced you to come. It's this bit. How's it not playing? It's the internet, man. Come on now. Why don't this one want to play?
It's your show, um, so it's up to you if you want her or not. Obviously, she will be so there with me, but, you know. but obviously, it's your show, um, so it's up to you if you want her or not. Obviously, she will be there with me, but in the room and stuff. But when it comes to filming, if you want to spice things up a bit, you can always use her because she's very good entertainment. But anyways, I'll see you in Croatia, babe. Um, just let me know about the contract, if you can update the contract and if you can put dates dates in the contract because it looks very confusing um, regards to, like, when you're going to pay the remaining and stuff like that. We just need that bit to be a bit clear because... Let's get her, like, let's get her on, basically. Lani's told me to send pictures of her. I've sent videos of her. I've sent a video of Shelly beating someone up in the club. For her, her, her social media handles, I've given it to her. She's reached out to Shelly. She's talking to Shelly. Her and Shelly having a conversation. She's invited Shelly down. She says, Shelly, I want you to be a part of the cast. A lot of people are saying that Shelly's a plus one. No, Shelly's not a plus one. Shelly was never a plus one in the first place. Like, if she was a plus one, Lani would not be offering to pay for this girl's ticket and to, to give this girl money back and all these things. When I brought Shelly's name to Lani, Lani says she wants her to be a part of the cast. Lani said she's going to reach out to her, which she did, and she reached out to Shelly and she asked Shelly if she could be a part of UK Baddies. She offered to pay Shelly her ticket back, half her ticket back. Shelly said, okay, cool. Lani is sending me and Shelly how we should pack, how, what we should pack, dresses that we should wear, all these kind of shit, whatever. So me and Shelly was texting each other, going back and forth with each other because we was trying to get everything under the space of 48 hours. So we had to get, we had to try to get clothes, we had to try to get this, we had to try to get that. I'm not going to lie to you, see me, one thing about me, I keep shit real. At the time, I said to Shelly, I tried to order my clothes, I tried to order certain things, certain things didn't come certain clothes that I'm able to bring because when I came to when I came to England I didn't bring my clothes when I came here I only came here because I knew I was only going to spend less than three weeks here and I knew I wasn't going to be doing the most of that if I needed something I'll just order it off PLT next day delivery or I'll just buy clothes or whatever but I didn't have plans to go on UK baddies so I didn't I wasn't really prepared I wasn't well put together I didn't have certain clothes like the certain things that Lani was asking for because Lani sent us screenshots of what she's expecting her expectations rude girl I don't give a fuck about your expectations respectfully I'm coming on the show and I'm coming out I'm coming I'm not gonna go out my way to buy and spend 300 to 400 pounds worth of outfits for a fucking week I'm not doing that expectations to wear this dress babe this is not the Met fucking gala so I need to understand why do you think I'm going to go on POT and spend about a good £400 for a week worth of clothing? I'm not going on my way to be buying unnecessary stuff. So I made sure that Shelly knew I don't have certain things. I'm going to pack what I have. Because one thing about my mum, she's always told me, she always taught me, do with what you have. If I've worn a dress three to four times, I'm going to wear it again. Because like I said, I wasn't prepped. So Shelly was like, oh, no, Ren, I'll give you some stuff. I will give you this, I'll give you that. There were certain things that Shelly's never worn before that she ordered from POT, and she gave that to me, whatever. But I didn't even end up wearing wearing it. Like, I only wore two out because I didn't even end up wearing certain stuff. So much hype on social media. There was so much going on social media. A lot of things was going on. So much excitement. People was tweeting. People was doing this. People was doing that. It was crazy. So we booked our tickets or whatever now, and it hit me couple hours later it's hit me like Ren what are you doing you know the ones where it's like you it hits you after you've done and made the stupidest choice that you've ever made Shelly's ordered her POT bought her ticket
it's like it's hit me that what are you doing why are you going on this this is not what you should be doing you came here to do what you have to do handle business and fly back to jamaica why the hell are you now going on uk baddies this is only drama and this is drama that you don't need ren when on snapchat now and i said to snapchat i'm not going no more the only reason why i went on snapchat and i started contradicting myself and i started going back on my word and saying that i'm not going no more i'm not doing this i'm not doing that is because never ever you in life let somebody know your next move obviously i put it out there on social media that i'm going i've stated that i'm going now you know lani's told probably told the girls that i'm coming wherever because like i said she paid me the 500 pounds depot oh uh, you know the plotting started bitches are plotting on me bitches want to fight me bitches want to get like get a big one on me you know because they want to come up they want to you know because i'm not gonna lie fighting me on social media you're gonna go fucking viral let's be real because it's big off i'm not the little one my name fucking trends and everything i do period i can sit down and be talking about oh i want to move back to jamaica and i'm gonna viral so anything i do trends on this app cool girls have found out that i'm coming to this um to croatia now so now girls want to start acting like they got beef with me girls the girls in the villa i don't know them respectfully never met you lot never seen you lot a day in my life you lot don't know me you know of me you know of me because of the drama that's been on social media got circulating my name but you cool we stopped speaking to lani now lani's paying me my 500 pound 500 pound deposit she's expecting me to come on this day with her originally she wanted me to come the day that them lot was flying to croatia but i said rude girl it's my birthday on october 11th i'm not flying out october 11th to go on uk baddies i need to enjoy my birthday here in the uk and then when i'm done i'll come over so we arrived two days after when they arrived so me and shelly are now speaking I've gone on social media and i've told social media go no more in my mind i don't want to go no more and then at the same time, I wanted to go because I wanted to be there for Shelly. This has happened. I got a phone call from the two fucking gassed up lighties, yeah? And they came, they called me on my birthday on Instagram and they were telling me how much Lani's trying to set me up. Lani's spoken to this person. Some girl called Hayley from gassed up lighties is telling me how much her girlfriend called Maphead is in the villa that she wants me to smack up her girlfriend she wants me to fight her girlfriend so i'm like me taking a piss out of um, her i'm like yeah give me five bills and i'll slap up her for you i was never going to slap up my head i don't give a fuck about what you got going on in your fucking relationship gassed up ladies i don't give two fucks respectfully respectfully i don't care about my head and i don't care about you it's the fact that you thought you can call my phone well, yeah. Alright, cool. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand something. Give me five bills. I don't see nothing. Bang around your face and that though. I need it before uh, I get on that show. Oh, I ain't doing shit. Yeah, before you go on. Right. Yeah, but I'll be a real nigga though. I'll be an actual real nigga. Like, my girl is saying to Nani, like, she'll smoke with me. Like, can't touch her again. Either way, either I have to. You're going to end up waiting for her anyway. Yeah, either I have to. You're going to show her, yeah? You're saying. I don't care. I don't even care. For that money, I don't even care. I really, I'll be so real. I don't even care for you. It's my trap. Like, see when that bitch is back, I'm smoking the lap out. I don't care. I don't care. But I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. 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 And tell me your relationship problems. Then you're telling me that your girlfriend, Maphead, wears fake designers. You're telling me that she goes to Turkey and she shops in the market and she buys fake Rolex and fake clothes. If that's what she wants to do, Omar, let her be doing it now. If she wants to trick the social media world that she's wearing real designers, Omar, let her be doing it now. Your day in the UK while your girlfriend is in on UK baddies in Croatia and you're stressed the fuck out talking about I should slap up your girlfriend. So I pissed out of her. I was mocking them. I was mocking the whole situation because how are you calling my phone on my birthday to tell me to slap up your girlfriend called Maphead? It's not making sense. So I said, you know what? Let me take the piss out of it. I was leaving it on. Got I got tired of the conversation. I hanged up the phone because the conversation's not going nowhere. That situation's happened. We're supposed to be catching a flight in a couple hours from now. I've started to come to my senses. I'm trying to run away from drama. I'm not trying to be in the drama field. It's dead. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to grow up. I'm trying to be a better me. Me going on UK baddies is only going to start trouble and drama for me. And I don't need it in my life, respectfully. So I've told Shelly I don't want to go no more. And on top of that, it was like, I felt like it was a forcing thing. I felt like it was being forced because one, I was on my period. Just started my period. I'm very heavy. I'm in so much pain. Barely can walk. My back is hurting me. My stomach is killing me. 
I said, Shelly, I don't want to go no more because honestly, I'm so heavy. I can't control it. Like, it's mad right now. I like it's like I was getting a gut feeling and my stomach was just saying Renee don't go I was getting a, like from time I went on social media and I went on my snapchat and I said to everyone I'm not going no more a part of a part of that post was true a part of me didn't want to go no more but at the same time a part of that post was trying to trick everybody in the villa that I'm not coming no more but I didn't want to go no more and I felt like I should have stand on my two feet because I'm 28 years old I'm a grown-ass woman I should have stand on my two feet and said nah Shelly I'm not going but you I felt like it was a thing where it's like I've made her book her ticket I've made her buy clothes for POT I've made her like do so many stuff already so it's like it's a thing where it's like I feel bad now that I don't want to go no more after she's done all those stuff I know when like I've booked my ticket I've done this I've done that oh I get it you're my friend but it's like I didn't want to go no more do you know what I mean because my stomach was hurting I was on my reds I was getting bad vibes from it I just thought that it's going to end in a disaster. It's not going to go to plan. This is just not it, Ren. I, I, I said to myself several times, why are you going? And I started to look at everybody's messages on social media, Instagram. You know, my WhatsApp messages, my people that fuck with me, my boyfriend, like my mom, my sisters, my auntie. Everybody was saying, Ren, don't go. Why are you going to my next country to be fighting on, on, on fighting in people's country for? Why are you come? Why are you come? You come back to England to better yourself, to sort out yourself. Why are you gonna go fight and put yourself in trouble and make girls have something to say about you on social media? Don't go. So I'm sitting there and I'm reading everybody's like positive messages. Like a lot of my supporters, a lot of people that really want me to win in life, was telling me don't go no more. And I was like, you know what? Let me tell Shelly that I'm not coming. So I said, Shelly, I'm not going to come no more. I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling well. Shelly, I will pay you back your flight money. I will send it over right now. She's like, no, Ren. Like, you made me book my ticket. You made me do this. You made me do that. Like, I'm going to go. I'm still going to go. Like, with or without you, I'm going to go. Because I've been wanting to fight this girl. I've been wanting to fight this girl. And I've... I haven't seen this girl in the UK and I want to fight her. So this is my only chance to fight her. So I was like, Shelly, like, I'm not feeling good. I don't want to go. I'm having a bad feeling about this. I'm feeling like it's not going to go well. Like, it doesn't seem right to me. The words that came out of Shelly's mouth was, with or without you, I am going to Croatia. I was born alone. And I remember quoting those same words in the vlog in the croatian vlog I felt a bit guilty like i felt bad like i felt like wow like i made this girl book this and do this and do that now i'm not trying to be a part of it no more but it's one of them ones where it's like i came to my realization i came to my common sense like don't go ren refund lani back her 500 give back her back her money for her flight for being you know for feeling bad that she's wasted money and just don't even bother you know, Lani wasn't replying back to my messages. You know, Shelly was feeling some type of way. I'm stuck in the middle now. I'm like, for fuck's sake. I told Shelly that the pain is so bad, like I literally cannot walk. She was like, I will I'll get you paracetamol, I will give you this, I'll bring this, I'll bring this painkiller for you, but we're on our way to the airport to Gatwick. As I reached to Gatwick, it's like it hit me again. 
I remember said I said it in front of the guy that drove us there and I said to Shelly when Shelly was taking her stuff out of the boot, I said, Shelly, I don't want to go no more. She's like, Ren, are you being for real? Like, she's getting irritated now at me now. I'm like, to be honest, I don't want to go. Like, I don't have a good feeling about this. My gut is telling me something, Shelly. My gut's never wrong. And she's like, well, without, with or without you, I'm going. So to the guy that drove us there was like, it's, never, it's not too late. I'm still here. I can drop you back home. And I felt like it was a thing where me and her was about to get into it. And then I didn't want her to go by herself because I felt like the way she was moving, the way she was acting, it's like I felt bad. It's like, Ren, it's act, like you made this girl book her ticket. You made this girl buy a post of POT. Like you made this girl do certain things and now you don't want to go no more. So I felt bad. So I just, you know what, cool. Like I set my mind from there that I'm not going to go and I'm not going to fight. I'm going to come. I'm going to, I'm going to support you. And I said this to Shelly before we went on to the, um, the escalators, like the little escalators to go up to the airport. I said, Shelly, if I come, I'm not fighting nobody. I'm not on it. I'm not on fighting. I'm not on getting drawn out. I'm not on letting, like, bringing out the old me. I'm not doing it. I've grown so much. I said, I'll come to support you and make sure nobody jumps you and I have, and I watch, I watch out for you. And then once you get your fight with Birdie, we'll go home. I said it to her, I said, Shelly, fight with Birdie that you really want and let's go home. I'm on my period, my stomach's hurting me, fucking heavy as hell, I can't handle this pain. I'm not mentally in the right place to be fighting, girls. No one's fighting me and blood's going everywhere. You're not going to record me and put me on a TikTok and I'm not going to be a meme with bloody fucking clothes, no. So we're at Gatwick Airport now and Shelly's message Lani and told Lani basically that she's on her way. Lani's like, where's Renee? Shelly's like basically saying, why you keep asking where's Renee? Because I put on my social media that I'm not coming no more. So to Lani's mind, Renee's not coming no more. She thinks I'm not coming no more. But I'm in Gatwick with Shelly. I'm standing right next to Shelly in front of fucking Starbucks in Gatwick, right? Before we go to security. And she's texting Lani and she's just letting Lani know that I'm going through security. I'm at the airport. I'm on my way to Croatia. Ticket. Lani did say that she's going to give Shelly half her money back and a, ta a taxi will come and collect come and collect us at the airport when all Lani cares about is is Renee gonna be there is Renee gonna be there she don't give a fuck about Shelly she don't care about nobody at this point she's just trying to find out where's Renee and is Renee coming that is it Shelly's getting irritated Shelly says stop asking me about Renee I don't care like I'm telling you I'm on my way and I'm coming that's it leave it as that like she obviously them two are going back and forward I'm there all doing I'm there outside Starbucks, sitting there ordering my Starbucks now. I've ordered the ice mocha and the mocha that I ordered was the wrong mocha because it's not the one I've got in Jamaica. So me and this lady's going back and forward. Me and her got into an argument, the Starbucks lady. She's over, Shelly's over there arguing with Lani and she's saying that, well, I'm letting you know that I'm on my way and someone needs to pick me up from the airport. Lani knew I wasn't coming anymore. I text Lani and I told Lani when I was outside Starbucks in Gatwick that I'm in my bed and I'm not coming no more. Don't mind, nobody at this point knows if I'm coming or if I'm not, if I'm coming or I'm not going no more. Because like I said, I tried to trick social media. But I actually didn't want to go no more. Like my gut was just telling me, Ren, this is a myth, it's long, it's it's a setup, just don't even go no more. Like Shelly's text Lani that she's landed, she's here. Um, can she send the taxi or the driver to come pick us up? So Lani's like, is Renee with you? Shelly's like, Renee's not here. Why do you keep asking me about Renee? Renee told everybody on social media she wasn't coming no more. And she told she told you this morning that she's not coming no more. Lani was like, no, she didn't. Uh, not everyone hates Lani, I don't know. Someone wants to do an interview with me. Go, go from the part where she's... Lani, I don't know if you suffer from memory loss i was standing in front of starbucks in gatwick and i said to you i'm in my bed right i told you to take care of shelly and to watch my friend and make sure nobody does nothing to my friend that is what i said to you these times i was standing in gatwick with shelly do you understand while i was telling her that i'm not coming no more because i knew that lani will go and chat her mouth off to the other girls but lani's turned around and said to shelly that she can't send a taxi to come and get her because the taxi costs a lot of money and it's three hours or something like that to get to the airport from where they're staying.
Calm down, Shelly. You calm down. Shelly, you can't be doing things like this in the open. Bruv, don't tell me not tell you nothing because do not tell me to tell you nothing. Yes, I understand, but she right messaging now, on my phone talking bullshit, bro. But calm it down. No, no, no. Or you can look around, no, no, no. you see white people, that's all we see. Sure. We're the only two black I people standing here. No yeah, but guess you what? Look, you're you in, have to know the laws. You're you in another person's laws. country. I no you're, they, you're on the phone arguing. I don't you're fuck. saying things they can understand English here. Let them understand. Calm down. Let them understand. Just calm down. Deal with her when Let you see her. Let them understand. Deal with her when you see her. What's she saying? She's talking about you're welcome to you're welcome to come listen you're welcome to come you didn't tell me when we wasn't with you you're welcome to come but i can't provide chance to one person it's 160 can't each way that's why people share cabs i beg you if i tell her to suck out her mum bro the only reason i've not gotten to nani is because i don't want to disrespect my budget you know the only reason i've not gotten to nani honey see you can have a cigarette because you like it's three hours so Sh Shelly and her are going back and forth. They're arguing, whatever. Shelly's like, bruv, you knew I was coming. How are you telling me that you're not sending a taxi to come pick me up to drop me to where you guys are? Because at the end of the day, I don't know where I'm going. But you knew I was coming and you knew Renee wasn't coming no more. Renee told you this morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, she's not coming no more. So how are you telling me you can't pattern my drive to go to the villa when you knew I was coming? You told me to come. You, you, re you reached out to me. And told me to come some guy called some guy called sp now which is lani's manager music manager whatever you want to call him right he's also friends with shelly's brother in croatia he told lani you can't tell the people them girl pick me to come to croatia you're now saying you're not going to send someone to pick her up when you told her to come and that from the airport there will be someone to pick her up from the airport now she's landed in but because she's not with renee you're not sending someone to pick her up regardless if renee wasn't there or not how are you going to let someone come into a country to film for your show and then you're going to say to her you're not sending a taxi driver you're fucked up you're fucked up rude girl you need a box in your mouth because you don't do stuff like that uh, we're outside now i'm sitting there i'm watching shelly going back and forward arguing going mad i'm sitting there smoking my cigarette because respectfully i don't have the time nor the patience or the capacity to deal with this bullshit i was calm from the job people were saying that even when i was on my way there i was hating on lani i was not hating on lani i was not hating on her there's nothing for me to hate on that girl about i wasn't hating on her at all like i was just talking about certain things that was going on that i was being told Remember, I had two gassed up girls call my phone telling me that Lani wants to jump me, Lani wants to do this, Lani wants to do that. I'm talking about how the show looks from a perspective watching it on the media. Remember, I'm literally sitting there watching these girls go on social media, talking shit, talking about me, talking about this. So I'm basically talking about what's going on. I'm letting Lani know about herself, like, rude girl, you don't do stuff like that. At the end of the day, right is wrong. I'm not siding with anybody that's in the wrong. I'm gonna get her taxi, blah, blah, blah. Like, respectfully, I don't see which one of these girls was a baddie. And I'm not hating. I'm saying a lot of things that a lot of people have been saying. Which one of the cast members can you say you know? Which one of the cast members can you say is a real UK baddie? Because not one of them girls on that show was a UK baddie. Look, I'm being real to a fucking T. When, last time when I watched Bad Girls Club, the Bad Girls Club there are girls that are known. Camila that went back is known. Sky is known. Sukiana is known. Natalie Nunn is known. All the girls that Natalie Nunn has on her show is known. You can call them a baddie. But the girls that the UK buddy has on their show, which one of these girls was buddies? Let me know. There wasn't. Because last time I checked, I don't know who the fuck they was. And I know you didn't know. So let's talk about it. Let's let's be real about it for once. Let's stop this cap. Let's stop saying, well, we're hating on this. No, there's nothing to hate about. Let's be real. Let's be let's speak the truth. Not one of these girls are UK buddies. Not one of them are known. No one knows them. Like you can't, you can't try and be Natalie Nunn and then you put a bunch of sheets in a fucking house, in a villa to try and be known. It doesn't make sense. SP's, SP's talking to Shelly in the phone. They're going back and forward. Shelly's saying, look, because I didn't tell her Renee was, Renee was coming and she didn't know that Renee was coming. She was going to leave me here for dead. SP said, you know, what? I'm going to come and drive and get you. I'm going to come pick you up. So he was like, I'll be there three to four hours. Let's 
sitting there, you know, for hours. Hours were waiting, waiting, time's going by. It's hurting me. I'm on the floor. I'm all over the place. We've moved from this place to that place in the airport. We've gone upstairs to get food. We've come back downstairs. Lani and her girlfriend called Chrissy. I didn't know Lani was a lesbian at all when I found out when I landed. So Lani and her girlfriend and SP was there come now they've told us to walk down towards them we've left the airport we've walked towards them towards the park car park i took Lani to the side and i tried to speak to Lani and i said Lani, look i don't know what you've got planned up your sleeve but i'm not in a no funny business i'm not in no funny business i'm not in none of that shit just be a real girl and just be just be a real person just be real just be true to yourself because i ain't in the funny business Lani. like i know you can be a little funny little girl you're weird at times but just be real me and her had a conversation we spoke. Do you know what I'm saying? I tried to bless the whole situation with her and Shelly because Shelly just wanted to fight her. Shelly wanted to fight her and she was on 10. I said, Shelly, leave it. Just let me talk to her. I'm trying to pattern it. I spoke to her. Lani needs to apologise to Shelly for the disrespect. Lani saying, no offence, but I paid Renee to be here. And the fact that she was telling social media she wasn't coming no more, I was getting upset, I was getting angry, and I didn't know if she just took my five hundred pounds and she wasn't coming, blah blah blah. So I said, Lani, no, I just didn't want social media to know my next move because I've I fucked up by telling people that I was coming anyway. So we're at the car park, we're all speaking, we're all blessing the hour, we're all talking, whatever now. and this is the bit that was a bit weird to me she's talking about everyone in the villa she's warning me about this person she's warning me about that person she's telling me how much the girls are so boring the girls don't have personality she was talking about dessa i don't know who the fuck dessa is but i know she got three kids for someone that's what i seem to find out there talking about the erica she's talking about this person tamara She's just saying that the girls in the villa are so boring. They have no personality. She don't give a fuck about them. She just wants to see if she can get some shots with them. She told us how much Puff Puff wants to fight me. Marissa wants to fight me. She was just telling me who wants to fight me. So her and Shelly started speaking now. As her and Shelly are speaking, Shelly's letting it know to her very clear. I want to fight Birdie and that's all I want to fight. And I want to fight Birdie now. I said, Shelly, have you seen the time? darkness is coming down let's go home let's go shower let's rest let's recharge for tomorrow shelly's like no i come here because i need to fight birdie i want to fight her now Ren, and i want to get over and done with i don't give a fuck about nothing else you know why i came here bro so let me fight her and that is that i don't care i don't care about nobody like Ren, i want to fight her when shelly's in that mind and she's in that mindset there's no way of talking her out of it there was nothing for me to say to her. Lani's then gone and said, all right, you guys are not staying in the villa. I don't want you not staying there. I don't think it will be safe. I feel like girls are going to try to set you guys up. Girls are going to want to fight you. It's not going to be safe. So what I'm going to do is, I want you lot to stay at the production apartment that I've got for the production team and the security guards. So I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, I don't want you staying at the villa because I can't trust the girls. The girls are too much. She was sitting there telling me, oh, why we're driving? Because it's a three hour drive, so the drive was so long. Renee, I'm so stressed out. I'm so happy you're here. I can't wait to shoot content with you. You are the star of the show. Whatever you say, Ren, I don't give a fuck about these girls because at the end of the day, I'm not paying none of them a penny. I'm paying you, Ren. So I want you to have your camera time. She was gassing the thing up. I was like, Lani, I'm not the star of no show. I'm just me. I'm our fab. That is it. She's like, no, Ren, you're the star of the show. I don't care about these girls. I don't care about these girls. I'm going to take content with them, let them shoot a bit of scenes, and that is it. I don't care about them. But you, I want you on the show. I want you to do your thing. I, I know you're going to bring ratings. I know you're going to bring views. I know people are dying to see you. I know everyone keeps messaging me about you. So I was like, Lani, I'm not the star of the show. And I don't want you to be telling the girls that. And I don't want you to put that in people's head because what you're not going to do is say, Renee is the big dog. Renee is in the star of the show. Make people think I'm going to walk in the villa and take over. Nah. That's not the situation here because that starts problem. She, talk, she started speaking to me about Puff Puff. I said, listen to me. When I was in the UK and I was mad and I was going back and forth with this girl on social media, I've been going on back and forth with this girl for three years. I don't know her. She's always been speaking about me. She knows Goddard. She had a problem with Goddard. And then all of a sudden, 
she has a problem with me i don't know this girl respectfully i don't give a fuck about this this puff puff bitch i don't care i don't like her i'll never like her. i don't care about her the three years that she's been dragging me on social media i've never met this girl a day in my life like i don't care about her respectfully stop talking to me about someone that i don't know so i said to lani while i was in the car i'm not fighting her I said, Lani, she's going to fight a brick wall. She's going to run in that wall. She's not fighting me. I'm not going to make this girl's career. Like, people can say, oh, because she's going to beat you. She's going to do this. She's going to win. Listen to me. I'm not scared of no female in this world. And I say this all the time. I'm not scared of one bitch in this world. You see, if you're going to fight someone, you don't need to keep saying you're going to fight someone. You're just going to fight them. I don't need to keep projecting that out there. That, yeah, I'm going to beat you up. No, bro. I don't care. You, when you see me, you see me, you throw fucking hands. And it's that is that. Simple as that. Came here because Shelly wants her big one and then I'm cutting. And then I'm going home. That's what I said to Lani. She goes, no, Ren, stay. Like, I really want you to be a part of here. It's okay. Like, you go and drop our stuff because I want to drop our stuff. Like, I want to have a shower. I want to settle down and stuff. It's like, she's pulled up to the villa. She's put us in some dark place. It's pitch black outside. We can't see shit. We can't see nothing at all. All we can see is literally air. And I don't even know if you can see air. But all we can see is air. We can't see nothing because of how dark it was. Chrissy was in the passenger seat. SP has gone into the villa now to make sure the girls are all locked away. They're getting ready to get Shelly to have a big one. Shelly's in the car changing into her, her two-piece because she's getting ready to fight Birdie. Lani's gone upstairs to tell Birdie that Shelly wants to fight her. Lani's come downstairs to tell us that Birdie's on fighting. Lani's gonna come back after she's locked the girls up upstairs where they can't come out the house to come and see what, what's going on downstairs. All I saw was a meal downstairs, the two security guards on the on the grass where they're fighting. They told me that I wasn't allowed to come out the car. I said, what the fuck do you not think this is? You don't think you're gonna let me lock me up in the car on the sidewalk and then pitch black out of nowhere where somebody can come and kidnap me and kill me? No, I'm coming inside. I'm not staying in the car. So because I said I'm coming inside, Lani's gone and she's held me. She's put me right underneath some plate thing where like nobody can't see me unless you're on the ground floor where we're, we're all standing. So the only person I could see was Emil, the security guards and Chrissy. That was it. No one else could see me. None of the girls could see me because they was on the balcony outside some room locked up. So I'm standing there now and I'm watching Birdie and Shelly get their big one. I'm seeing Shelly put punch. I'm like, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, right, go Shelly. Big Shelly, not the little one. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it 100 to a buck. Birdie threw some good punches. And Shelly was doing a great fucking job. They was, they was doing great. But respectfully, Shelly fucked her up. Shelly grabbed out her hair. Took out her whole love hearts. Because you know the braids are with the love heart braids. Shelly took out that. Them two was fighting. Okay. Love got birdie. Shelly won. I feel like the whole situation was just forced. I feel like a part of Birdie probably did not want to fight. Because I don't feel like Birdie was prepared for it. I don't feel like Birdie knew that this was coming to her. I feel like we just landed. We got in the car. And he's talking shit about the girls. Running her mouth. And then you're planning to have a fight at night time. What the fuck is going on? We haven't even settled down, dropped our bags where we're sleeping. We are on the way to the villa from the airport. So Lani can get shots of Shelly fighting Birdie. I, I was mind blown. I couldn't believe this. I was literally standing there like, this is a disaster. It's time to go home. Uh, we've literally drove. We've gone to the AP where we're sleeping. She's shot. This is where I'm sleeping. That's my room. That's my side of the bed. I'm gonna have a shower. Running the tap water, I'm realizing there's no cold, there's no hot water. I'm like, for fuck's sakes, is this what I've walked into? I've had a cold shower because guys, there was no fucking hot water. In this AP? Are you right? I was pissed off. Next morning's come. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Lani. Lani has decided to bring Miss Cookie to this house. Hey Shelly, been asking Lani, when are we going to go to the villa? Lani's like, oh, I don't really want you lot to go over there right now because it's a bit tense. After the whole birdie fight, the girls are crazy. The girls are talking about a rematch. The girls are moving mad. I want, let's all wait for it to all calm down before I get you guys to come to the main villa. So I said, okay, cool. Hey, food. 
Day one's gone by of my journey. I see no food in that house. Day two, no food. Seen SP cooking chicken. I don't know where SP found chicken from, but he found chicken. He cooked chicken and dumplings. Some curry chicken and dumplings. The portions couldn't even feed a toddler who's two years old. We had to all literally nibble on a dumpling and one piece of chicken side. We had to make the, the pot share for seven people in that AP. Make this shit up. I've now met range doll and i've now met amy because them two were staying downstairs we're upstairs in the apartment they're downstairs in the apartment so they've come upstairs and we've met them and i'm like oh wow like hey guys like we've met these girls we didn't know that these girls was there lani didn't even introduce us to these girls or even brought us to them we, they just came upstairs and we just met them so we're like oh wow hi do you know what i mean we're in this villa now and all of a sudden, Lani has decided to come over with Miss Cookie. Everybody's sitting in the sofa. Everybody's relaxing. Burner's relaxing. SP's relaxing. The camera guys are here. The whole production team's in the, in the, in the living room. TV's on. Music's playing. When Lani busts the door open with Miss Cookie. She comes in the house. Cookie sees me. She's like, hey, Mr. Fabulous. And she comes and she gives me a hug and I've hugged her back. But I'm praying her because it's like you're moving weird. Like her energy was off. I knew that something was booky from the jump. So she's come and she's hugged me. And I'm watching her. She's walking around the table. She saw Amy and she started jumping Amy, fighting Amy, punching Amy. And I'm like, you're not a bad girl. In my head, I'm thinking, you're not a bad girl. Because you had to jump somebody off guard. You think you're a bad girl. You're not a bad girl if you got to jump somebody without ju somebody knowing you're coming for them. So when I saw that happening, I've got pissed off now because it's like you brought this girl from the villa to the apartment to jump someone. Nobody over this side, me and Shelly hasn't even been introduced to her. You haven't even brought us to the main villa to meet these girls, but you're bringing one by one, one by one, one by one to the house. Why? So obviously now she's jumped Amy. Lani's pulled cookie at the house jumped in the car drove off with cookie so nobody could even fuck her up nobody could even fight miss cookie nobody couldn't do nothing because the, the moment she's punched up amy the man them and everybody went to fuck up miss cookie but miss cookie's like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry with her hand up like a police like, like she's a victim oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not being funny but you've just punched up this girl that was off guard that was on her phone on whatsapp chatting to her man them and you are putting your hands up like oh no no, no i'm sorry i'm sorry like Baby girl, put your fucking hands down because you started it. Lani's put her in the car, they've driven off while everybody's run downstairs to fuck her up. So they've gone back to the main villa. Everybody's puzzled because we're thinking, what the fuck just happened? What was that all about? We're all sitting here. I was shocked. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, this is some hell house. I'm thinking I can't even sleep in this fucking house. I gotta watch my back. I gotta watch my back. I can't sleep in this house. I don't know which girls pull up to this yard. I don't know what is in store for me, boy. Because I know I'm the most hated. The next day now, Lani has decided at night time she's going to bring two more other girls to the house. She bought some girl called Cece and she bought Tamara. I'm confused because I don't know why the fuck she brought these two girls to the house. Alani is. That was pissing me off. You keep bringing these females to where I'm laying my fucking head, rude girl. And you've not introduced me to them. Fucking AP for almost four days now. You've not come here. Taking me and Shelly to the main house. You told us we have to stay here. You don't feel like it's safe over there or whatever. But you keep bringing one by one millions of individuals to the fucking AP for them to have a conversation with us. What is there for us to speak about? We don't need to talk to, to C. We don't need to talk to Tamara. We don't need to talk to these girls about anything other than let's get to the main villa. Let's start shooting. Let's get to know them with everybody around why does the girls need to come to where i'm laying my head with girl you, like you haven't even brought me to the main villa introduced me to the girls i haven't done activities i haven't done shit i've been a prisoner in croatia you've got these fucking girls coming to where i lay my head rude girl after you know these girls want to fight me and they want to jump me and they're plotting to set me up so why the hell would you bring them to where we lay our heads two twos now the C girl is sitting there on the TV stand, whatever. Her and Tamara, they're talking to us like, 
they try to tell us what's been going on but after she's telling us the story so c has decided that she's going to share our ap location to the main villa so that the main villa can pull up to fight us so lani's decided she's going to take the girls back she's taking the girls back there wasn't on no crud thing they didn't come in the house on i want to beat this person on dinner they was actually calm like they was talking Renee was definitely scared. She just wasn't on it. And that's okay. I say that Tamara girl was looking very, very familiar to me. I was sitting down and I was looking at her and I was like, I know this girl's face from somewhere, Ak. I know this Tamara girl from somewhere, but I'm not sticking a pin on it. And then it came in my head. And I was like, that's how I fucking know this girl because she DM'd me on my Instagram account one time talking to me about her fucking problems. She was telling me about her son. Like, out of nowhere, out of the blues, it was so random. She started talking to me about her, her son. She started talking to me about some boy that she was fucking, he's African, she was sleeping with him. And he was treating her like shit or wanted me to give her advice. She was telling me how much, there's a lot of the times when, like, I'm a fan, like, I watch your YouTube videos, I respect you, I rate you, like, I watch your story time, I can see where you're coming from, I relate to you so much. And then she starts sending me pictures of the guy that she's sleeping with. I found it so fucking weird. You don't know me, you've jumped in my DMs, you're begging a friendship in the DMs, you're becoming a fan, then you're talking to me about, you're talking to me about what this guy has done to you. Baby girl, what is wrong with you? I don't fucking know you, respectfully. Get a grip of your fucking self. You need to sort it out. So that's when I started to realise, that's how I know this Tamara girl, because I blocked her. I remember I blocked her because she was doing the most and she was doing too much. She was ringing much, she was ringing me, she was doing too much on Instagram and I don't like girls that move obsessed with me. Stop moving obsessed. I don't like it. I don't like females that love to be clinging towards me. So I blocked her because it's just, it was weird. It was actually so weird. I blocked her and then she blocked Okay, so in the middle of me editing, I've completely realised I missed that a bit. So the day that I had a sit down conversation with Puff Puff, Tamara and Cece came over to our apartment and I'm not going to lie. They came over to the apartment. There was, there was calm. There was being cool. There was being lovely. Like, see was literally being so nice like she was pouring me wine in my glass she was giving me shelly giving every, all the girls that was literally in our apartment wine like because where we were staying basically there's a vineyard and the neighbor that owns the property he would always give us like fresh bottles of wine and put it in the fridge downstairs literally chilling they're vibing we're all socializing we're all getting to like talk to each other we're all trying to get understanding and tamara obviously the camera was on so Victor, the camera guy, he was going around and he was like recording certain shots and certain parts of what we're doing and stuff. I remember standing outside Range Doll and Amy's room with Shelly and Tamara and we was literally having a conversation. Only Shelly was having a conversation with her. I was being doofy and doing some dumb shit with Amy, but I was still close close enough to hear the conversation i've walked closer to um shelly and i've walked closer to tamara and i'm like to tamara i know your face from somewhere you look bare familiar um when i met this girl the first time when she came in with c that night to um have a conversation with us with lani that morning when i met her i kept looking at her and i kept saying i know this girl's face from somewhere but i can't stick a pin on it so i said to her like how comes you're over here she goes oh because i want to get to know you i want to get to know you and the other girls not amy because i can't stand amy but i want to get to know you and shelly the other girls over the villa they don't really want me to socialize with you guys but i don't want to exclude myself like she was proper doing the most like she was saying like oh they want me to pick a side but i'm not trying to pick a side c wasn't even talking much like c was just being that humble bird like c was just going around giving people drinks like seeing what people are doing she wasn't really doing too much i'm not gonna lie to you but tamara or tamara whatever her fucking name is she was just you know the one was like you know that person's begging a friendship from you you know that person's trying to prove a point or she's trying to be noticeable or she wants camera time she's standing there and she's talking to um shelly and i've said to her i know your face from somewhere he wants shelly to like like clock on so she was like oh we'll speak up we'll speak later we'll speak later and i looked at her like who the fuck wants to speak to you later what the fuck so she continues having a conversation with shelly and then she starts to tell us how much the other girls don't want her to come over here they're bad vibes they're bad energy over there because she came here the day before they're preying her they're watching her and she was like how much puff puff is upset 
because she's over here like the girl was just doing too much but you see me i was preen her like i knew she was a fucking instigator i knew that she's a liar i knew that she's a troublemaker because like i told you lot this bitch came into my dms and she was talking about oh ren like I can take out the shop for you. I'll put the shop in my name. And she started talking to me about her fucking relationship. The guy that was fucking her. She was spending money on this man. She was telling me how much she can relate to me. She's been through what I've been through. That's why I rate you. Like, I absolutely adore you, Renee. Like, a lot of stuff that you go through, I've been through it. Like, you're the voice of the girls out here that's literally going through shit. Like, Tamara took me around the fucking corner and was telling the cameraman to come follow us, right? Because she wanted me and her to talk. So, all of a sudden, I've seen Victor come with the camera. He's recording me and her sitting down on the chair, like, having a conversation, right? Because me and her are literally on the table, but sitting on the chairs talking. And this is literally where the camera crew house um, apartment is. And she started talking to me about Puff Puff. And I'm thinking, why the fuck? are you talking to me about puff puff asked me questions about puff puff she started to talk to me about what is the issue between you and her like and i'm explaining to her like bro i don't fucking know this girl from adam i've never met this girl she's been beefing me on social media for three years she's been dragging me on social media she had a problem with goddy philip she 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 made it a problem with me and her like the girl just wants clout for me she's been wanting clout she just wants to be the next generation like she just wants to be the big bad bad girl on social media baby girl i did this whole shit in 2019 it's boring to me and i don't give a fuck about it so i'm there telling i'm telling tomorrow like i don't really care about the girl like respectfully i don't want to chat about her tomorrow starts to break down crying i'm, been, I'm going through a lot like i've been going through so much i'm sitting there and i'm like she starts to talk about her son she starts telling me that her son's got autistic and stuff like that and uh, obviously i'm showing her support i'm showing her love in it because one time you see me i love kids so when she started speaking about that I started to like have some sympathy for her but it's just like you're weird tomorrow you're a weird fucking bitch and you're talking about Renee wasn't on it tomorrow let me tell you something you don't know me respectfully tomorrow all this shit that you're doing you want clout all you females on this show wanted clout and because you lot wasn't getting that for me you lot are fucking vexed and I don't give a fuck I don't have to prove shit to you because I don't know you from Adam you are a nobody you and the rest of these females are a nobody just like how social media don't know them i don't fucking know you lot so the fact of the matter is you're talking on tiktok about oh renee was scared renee wasn't on it tamara you never saw me the only time you saw me tamara was when you came to the ap where i fucking lay my head with lani the first night we've seen and then the next day you came over and you was chatting bare shit so what are you talking about you was talking shit about the girls in the villa and then you was here licking my batty you should have put your face between my bum crack that's what you should have fucking done and on top of that let's talk about how when you was down when you was talking to me and shelly you said that you wanted to get away from these girls because they literally pressuring you to pick a side you said you didn't want to pick no side you said that your boyfriend booked you a whole separate villa for you to stay in because you don't want to be around the negativity you don't want to be around the energy their bad vibes puff puff thinks she runs the house puff puff thinks she's a bad guy puff, puff, when puff puff tells everybody to sit they sit down you were sitting there chatting out puff puff and violating her to me and shelly and all of a sudden you go back to the villa and you're talking shit tomorrow i done to the pre already you done showed me how you was remember you was in my dms dirty gal so you can't tell me nothing i don't give a fuck about none of you bitches because respectfully you are a fan you was a fan when you came in my dm you're lucky to this day my instagram got disabled because i promise you i would have had people laughing on you in this app because you's a beg you're a beg you's a flip-flop you're a beg you want to be so bait you want to be famous so bad respectfully i ain't arguing with no bitch that's ugly without makeup don't talk to me when you're ugly without makeup put some makeup on your face when you're chatting to me because you're only pretty without makeup you're ugly in blood clout real life take off that makeup and you can't have chat for me rude girl you're talking about oh renee was scared what, what do you mean renee was scared all you females in the house keep saying renee's scared because i'm calm i'm showing growth i'm not reacting to the bullshit i'm really subtle so because i'm so calm and i'm relaxed and i'm trying to get people to actually grow i'm trying to show people that you can actually grow from this shit well, let me tell you that something but don't get twisted because you're on uk baddies you're not a baddie if all you know how to do is fight bitches being a baddie doesn't mean you have to fight all the time dickhead 
when you, uh, being a baddie is when you have your shit together no one can chat to you when you're a boss in real life when you have money in your accounts do you understand what i'm saying when you've achieved your fucking goals when you've done things that people thought you could never do that's being a fucking baddie being a baddie is not about throwing fists and punching bro i've lived that life since i was younger 2019 era you girls thought oh okay miss our fab is coming into the house so now it's our perfect time to get clout this is why i stay laughing at you lot because none of you bitches gain nothing from this none of you your followers tomorrow never went up you're still on one fucking k you can't have chat to, you can't have chat for me in real life you can't talk to me you're a fake girl you're sitting here on tiktok talking about oh miss our fabulous this miss our don't mention my name what well, you need to be telling people how much you was bum licking me you ain't to be my friend tell people how you ain't to be my friend you're telling me your life problems you're talking about your son to me you're talking about your fucking um boyfriend that finessed you and all these things because you can relate to me don't be acting like you didn't fucking like me you was a fan. I didn't know who you was. But the moment bitches out there in the other side want to fight me and beef me, you're flip-flop. You picked a side. And then all of a sudden, you you was dying for a little camera moment. And you got your fucking camera moment. Hey, Lani, you better put her fucking scene with me up. Because she's a beg. You're a beg tomorrow. You can't have chat for me. I don't talk to bitches like you in real life. I told you, you're ugly right makeup. You can't chat to me. I'm pretty upon any side. I'm pretty in a real blood clot life. I don't, I don't need to wear makeup every single day to feel beautiful. But I'm telling you right now, baby girl you your ugly piece of shit use a fucking ugly coward bitch i'm telling you right now if you had all this chat on social media you had a chance to fight me you was there you were sitting on the table with me you was around me you was in my space so if you was really against me why do you not see me and fuck me up then this is i don't ch you bitches are weird you lot are weirdos like you lot can stay screaming oh renee's scared renee's not on nothing but let me tell you last time just because you lot see this growth don't let it go of your fucking frontal do not let it go over your frontal. I have so much to lose. You bitches don't have nothing to lose on this app. None of you lot have nothing to lose on this app apart from me. Let me tell you that for right now. So that's why when I came, I said to myself, friend, get your shit together and don't let none of these girls have something on you. And none of you lot can say nothing about me. All you lot wanted to do was fight me. All you lot wanted to do was fight for fucking views and TikTok and memes and all this shit. When I'm in the UK, none of you lot can't fight me. So what makes you think you're going to fly overseas and I'm going to fly to Croatia and you're going to get your big one and you're going to start fighting me for clout? I will never let none of you bitches popular. I will never make one of you bitches famous to God see and know and death. I swear to God. As I sit here with my blood clot cigarette, I will never in my life make none of you girls fucking famous. If you don't want it to fight me, you could fight me in the UK. If you want to beat up my blood clot, come beat up my blood clot in the UK. But don't think, oh, because we're going to the UK baddie show. Oh, yeah, let's get Renee. Let's get Renee. You're not bad, Tamara. Go look after your blood clot, Pitney. You're not bad, Tamara. Continue sucking out man them dick in the villas. You're not bad. The same girl that came in the AP talking about, oh, my boyfriend. I love my boyfriend so much. Oh, my boyfriend paid for this. And you're sitting there scrolling, showing us how the, um, the villa looks like. You's a dirty, stinking girl. Because 24 hours after that, you are sucking on Burner's blood clot cocky. Burner was shoving his dick up in your blood clot hole. And he did a walk of shame that morning when we was outside waiting for him. You can't talk to me, Tamara. And when you see me in real life, you do something. I told you already, I'm on my growth journey. I'm on my healing journey. You bitches over here are dying and you lot are not even healed yet from your traumas. And you don't want to come take out your shit out of me. Don't take out your shit on me, rude girl. Because respectfully, I don't fucking know you. All I know you as is a fan, I beg. Bye-bye. Continue watching the story time. Moving on now. They've gone back to the other house. I don't know what was said. I don't know what was exchanged in the moments of them going back to the house. The next day has come now. Lani's come to me and she found out that I'm getting ready to go home. She's found out that I want to leave because this is dead. Come to me. She came upstairs and she said to me, oh, Puff Puff wants to talk to you. Is it okay? Puff Puff talks to you. I said, I don't want to speak to this girl. Before I came to the villa, it was said and a lot was done. I don't want to speak to the girl. I don't care for the girl. I don't know the girl. I don't have no real life issues with this girl. She's mad because I spoke about her brother stabbing up my ex-boyfriend Blacks 13 times. Okay, that's what he did. You want me to lie? That is what he did. She, I don't care if she's mad or not. It's not like I'm coming on social media with rumours or I'm lying. I'm telling you the facts of the facts is that this is what her brother did to my ex at the time. People ask me, how comes me and this girl is beefing for so many years? I turned on and I said to people, no, she's beefing herself. She's not beefing me. I was in a relationship with Blacks. 
Sorry to have to even mention his name. I was in a relationship with a guy at the time that was from South London. She came on social media about me one time beefing me. And I don't know what the fuck she's beefing me for because I don't know her. I'm in the kitchen cooking breakfast for me and my boyfriend at the time. He's come to me and he showed me a video of this girl cussing me out. He told me, how do I know her? I said, I don't know the girl. She's always coming to social media chatting me. One time she paid God and Philip for a promo. It didn't bang. She was upset. She was angry about it. I'm in a freeway call with her and Blanco. We're trying to sort out the situation. We've sorted out the situation. It's dead now. We've left it we've moved on she goes online every time somebody's attacking me you're online dissing me someone's dragging me you're online trying to speak about me it just doesn't make sense to me so obviously now the only reason why she could possibly want to fight me is because i always res respond back to her and i always give her the time of the day and i'm not giving this girl any more clout i'm not giving her the time of day i'm not going back and forth with her because babe i've never ever met you in a day in my life and i've never fucking seen you and you've got so much energy for me You've got so much energy for me. You're always cussing me on social media. You're always going on your live talking about me, rubbing me out, telling me I sell my pussy and I do this and I do that. All right. Whip to whip to whip to whip. I don't care. No one else cares. Like, if you're not talking about me, you're not getting views. So, realistically, I don't care about the girl. The only time I met this girl was when Lani wanted me and her to do a sit down video one to one and speak. Lani came upstairs where I was in my room on the phone to my man and she came upstairs and she was like, oh, Ren, you know, I really want you and Puff Puff to talk. I really want you lot to have a conversation. Like, she wants to talk to you. I said, why does she want to talk to me? I don't want to, I don't want to talk to her. I said, why does this girl want to talk to me? I don't need to talk to her. I said, Lani, you came up to me yesterday. You told me that she don't want to fight me. So leave it alone. Stop coming to me and talking to me about Puff Puff. I don't care about the girl. You and Bernard came to me a day before I sit down and you told me she don't want to fight. I said, times she was going on live with Emil. They was doing the whole social media thing. They was cussing me out. They was dissing me. I was ignoring them. I never, I never retaliate. I never went back on my live and I never dissed them. For the whole time I was in Croatia, I wasn't on this tip for tap, tip for tap. If you notice, even with the whole rainbow situation, sending the whole fake Snapchat text, I was laughing, looking cute in the Instagram live. I couldn't give a fuck about the whole media shit. I just didn't care. I long mentally checked out of it. I was ready to go home. Can you go? I'm ready to fucking fix it. Come down. You're fucking up too much. No, because I said nothing. We understand, Rainbow. For people to understand what yeah, you're yeah, saying, yeah, sure. you need to calm, calm down, down, take it down a notch, <laughs> and explain. Because at this point, the bitch needs to go to Moody's hospital. Bro, I am cool. <laughs> Anyhow, I feel like Jan, I'm calling Maudsley's and telling her there's a mad woman coming to attack me. I am not playing games and I do not find mental health patients. So Ray, just take it down. So she's in my room saying, no, okay, Ray, just sit down and have a conversation with her. Let's just understand that, why she wants to fight you so much, why she hates you. I said, Lani, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to hear her out, but I don't have time for Puff Puff. I don't have time for her. She's looking for a come up gonna be another 2019 shortage moment where bitches just want to do this with me to become famous i'm not doing it i'll sit down hear her out but if it's bullshit i'm going i don't want to hear it I'm going to get her now they've come upstairs again they told me oh she's here she just wants to talk to you she's so calm she says she doesn't want to fight you she doesn't want to argue with you she just wants to bless things out i'm like puff puff said this Lani's like, yes, that is what she said. I think the production team's getting ready. One security standing behind me. One security standing behind um, her. We're not allowed to fight. They said, we're not allowed to do this, not allowed to do that. Cameras are rolling. I'm there smiling. So I'm just trying to like look cute on camera because I think I was in my bonnet on some shit. Yeah, the, the table was so long. The table was so fucking long, guys. The table was so long that it was impossible to get to each other if we wanted to. We're talking, whatever, whatever. I've asked her, what's her problem? I went straight to the Nick. I said, what is the problem? What is your problem with me? Because you've been beefing me on social media for three years. I need to know the issue now. Like, I just need to know. Then I'm remembering in my head, Lani's paying me when, so you got to entertain this fuckery. You got to even try to have a conversation with her, at least. Talking to her, and she's talking, but it's not fucking making sense. And I'm getting irritated now. The girl goes and she says, I don't really have a problem with you because when people are on social media and when people are dragging you, Renee, I'm defending you in the comment section. Excuse me? She said that every time when people are on social media and they're cussing you out, I'm in the comment section defending you. I'm always having your back. I always speak out for you. I'm like, 
what the absolute fuck then she said that she went out her way to message me when i got scammed by chopper wayne in jamaica she said that she messaged me on instagram and she said she sent me a message and she was basically trying to like be there for me i was like now I, now i have to say something because this is actually a fucking joke this person clearly suffers from mental health at this point at this point it's not even mental health at this point it's very very severe now how are you gonna go and say you was messaging me on instagram when you've been blocked for almost a year and a half and i literally went into my block list and showed people in the ap look what she, she said that she did message me this girl's been blocked for almost a year what are you talking about almost, almost a year and a half i blocked you but you're going to say on big big camera production thing live in 4k you've been messaging me on instagram you've been blocked on snapchat you've been blocked on every social media app that i use for a whole year and a half I blocked this girl when she came on social media and she started speaking about me and Blacks' relationship. That's when she was blocked. I've been, she's been blocked for a year and a half. On my other Instagram that I had, right, I blocked her. My new Instagram that I had 30k that I had for almost a year, I blocked her. How did you message me? She was trying to make it seem like she's been defending me on social media. She's always rooting for me. She sends me messages. And you're chatting fucking shit at your back to you right now. You need to stop. Like, we're still talking, we're having a conversation. Your problem was with Gade, feel it. You had a problem with Gade because Gade didn't do a good promo for you. You didn't gain a good engagement. That problem with, you never had a problem with me. You never knew me. You to me on Instagram for promo on my first ever Instagram and I aired you completely. When you reached out to me, I saw it and I aired it. You reached out to Gade, feel it. And he replied to you. I remember like it was yesterday because it was in my house in Croydon. My first ever apartment with a one bedroom. That is where it all started. God, it came to me in the room and God, it showed me and said, this girl's coming for me. This girl's cussing me out. Like at the end of the day, I'm always have my best friends back. At the end of the day, I'm in a friendship with this guy. This is my right hand, my backbone in my house all the time. We basically are yin and fucking yangs. Like, that's my chargey. If my friends say you're, you're beefing or you have a problem with him, I'm always going to defend my friend. But I never came for her on social media. I never disrespected her on social media first when the whole situation happened between her and Goddard. I was just the silent person at the back. They said, she's sitting there telling me how much Goddard said to her. That me and him used to sit down in my living room and watch her YouTube videos. I just knew she was lying. I knew she was lying so bad because Gade did not like this girl. Gade couldn't stand her. So what makes you think that Gade can come to my yard and put your big face on my blood clot 70 inch TV screen? Are you okay? So she's sitting there and she's saying that, oh, Gade told her that how much I would sit down watch her youtube videos and cuss her out in my head i'm thinking that's a fucking lie why would god tell you i sit down and watch your youtube videos why the fuck am i watching you i don't watch people i don't like baby girl that's 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 cap so i just knew that was a lie i knew that was bullshit i said i can't entertain this no more the girls the girl threw the water bottle and she stood up i said what the fuck are you standing up for are you dumb so you standing up made me know you want to fight me you standing up made me know you're ready. So I stood up and I'm going towards her and security is pulling me. I'm like, you dumb. Like, let's fight then because now you're pissing me off. You're sitting here, you're capping and you're talking bare fucking shit and you're lying to me. You're trying to do this mind shit game and it's not going to work. And I'm getting irritated because they've just told me you, you're not on fighting. I don't have to sit and talk to you about anything. Let's just fight. But they said you want to sit down and talk. So I sat down and gave you the time of my fucking day. I gave you my time. I don't talk to bitches I don't want to talk to. I didn't have to sit down and talk to this girl about nothing. Because respectfully, you are psycho. I am not arguing with someone like you that needs to be sectioned. It's not happening, respectfully. I don't hate the girl. I don't have an issue with the girl. I don't care for the fucking girl, respectfully. She can, so anything can happen to her, I won't even care. I'm going to be real with you. But it's the fact of the principle is you keep trying to, to form this hate thing with me. Keep trying to find a way to fight me and it's never going to work. But you know why I'm not fighting you? Because I am not going to be the reason why you get a career out of me. I'm not going to give you your 2019 shortage moment that you want so bad to become so fucking popular. The UK fucking beast. Oh no, babe. It's not going to be, Renee, where are you? Never blood clot ever, Trevor. You're crazy. So because I know I've got the power, 
And because I know that I've got the clout that all you bitches need, I'm not giving you lot the satisfaction. I'm just going to watch you lot make a mockery out of your fucking self while I get a check at the end of the fucking day. I'm marching over her now because I want to fight her, innit? There. I've got four or five people holding me back. I've got Lani holding me back. I've got SP holding me back. Shelly holding me back. I'm I said, let go of me because at this point I'm getting pissed off and I want to fight her, innit? Literally, SP's pulled me, lift me up, into the, brought me into the AP, locked me into my room, gave me about two cigarettes, told me to calm down. They said, SP said, Ren, you've come a long way, Ren. He said, Ren, this girl don't even know what the issue is with you. Everyone's way is that you're sitting there trying to find a reason why you don't like me, why you want to fight me. You don't know the real reason. You, it's that you're confused. Going around in circles, in circles, you can't tell anybody what is the real reason why you want to fight me? Oh, because I come on social media and I, re I react to what you say about me and I cuss you the fuck out. Same way you can cuss me and you can tell me I sell fuck and I can do this and I do that. You spoke about my sister. You spoke about my family. You put my passport on social media. I had to change my fucking name. I had to change my passport details. I had to talk to home office. I had to do so many things and you still didn't get a reaction out of me. Because I told you that already, once you've conquered and you've mastered fucking peace, nobody can't get that out of you you did all these things and you still didn't rise the beast out of fucking hibernation i won you never won you had to go out your way to post my passport post my address on social media talk about my nephew that passed away talk about my sister you had to do so many things to get a reaction out of me and you still didn't get that reaction out of me that you wanted so i'm locked up in the room now they've locked my door They've given me a cigarette and they told me I've got to stay in the room and not come out. So I'm smoking, smoking. After SP's realised I've calmed down, I don't want you to come out. I said, you know what, SP? I've calmed down. I've let the anger out. I've cried. Because I'm not going to lie, guys. I was crying. That's my, I've never lost my cool in so long. I've never wanted to fight someone so bad. By the time I'm crying and I'm angry and my eyes are red, I am ready for fucking smoke. I'm ready to fight. I don't give a fuck. Sitting there, I've calmed myself down. I've got myself back together. Ren, don't ever let no girl take you out of your position. You're better than this. Pack your stuff and go home. I'm just calming myself down. Lani's come upstairs to check if I'm okay. I'm like, Lani, I'm not doing this show with that girl in this show. I said, Lani, I will give you all the content you want. I will go and film with the girls, but I'm not going to be in this show if that girl's on the show. Because at this point, it's like you're searching for a problem. You don't know me. You've never met me. You don't know the real life issue with me. You're talking to me about something that you paid got it five years ago for promo. You're not happy with it. You're still trying to find a problem with me. Me, you and Blanco sat on the phone years ago. We blessed that the situation were cool. Like, you're weird. You're lying that you messaged me on Instagram when I was in Jamaica, but you've been blocked for a whole year and a half. You're mad. I don't have time to argue with a mad person. So, I calm myself down. I've left it alone. I've locked the door. I put the TV on. I'm cleaning up the kitchen area. I'm cleaning up the, the house doing. I just want to be alone. Next thing you know, I've opened the door now. I see that she's downstairs arguing, going mad. Listen to me, guys. She waited for me to go upstairs and to be locked away before she started riling up her voice. When I was downstairs and I was, I was, uh, I was watching for her and I said, let's fight. The girl was not making no noise. The girl was standing next to Bernard, so calm. So why is it that they've locked me upstairs? I can't come out the AP. They're all down. The security guards are downstairs with you. They're trying to drop you home. You're now angry and you're making up bare noise. Like you've waited for them to lock me away for you to start doing your camera time. Trying to act like you're Miss Mighty God. No, you're not, baby girl. Like, she's rolling up her voice. She's going mad. She's screaming, shouting. I'm at the balcony and I'm standing and I'm watching her shouting her lungs off. Saying, I'm going to fuck her up. I'm going to fight her. Why wasn't you not giving me this energy at the table when I was coming for you and five people had to take me away from you? What are you talking about? And I'm happy that they got it on camera. I'm so happy that they, they got everything on camera because you will see for yourself. So she's waiting for me to go upstairs for her to do a whole commotion, her whole bare noise, whatever. Bear in mind, in order to get to me, you have to go through a door. You go up the stairs, there's a door here. There's two doors before you get to me. So I just finished showering. Here, the camera guy's house is there. 
You see why I put your mic down? Are you making your mic up? I love her. I just love Brenda. In the beginning, I thought she was fucking weird because she was just <laughs> chatting shit. But you have to meet someone first before you touch. The door was locked. So that's the first door. Then there's a second door, which is the main door into the apartment, which I opened that when they locked me in the house. So I opened that door, but the second, the first door was locked with the key. So you couldn't open it. SP locked the door and took the key with him. So you couldn't get through. How are you going to try and do this whole camera time situation? Oh, I'm going to fuck up our family. I'm going to do this. Do that. But the door's locked. So how are you getting to me, rude girl? Because it's not making sense. You're just doing this for television. Into that shit. I don't have time to run up your views for you, baby girl. I'm not going to make your social media career. You're waiting for that one hit wonder and it's not going to happen with Renee. And I'm watching her going absolutely crazy, losing her mind. And I'm busting up. The girl walked straight. She's trying to make everyone think she's going out. She's getting in the car. But she turned around. She did a 360 and she started this way. And she went, guys, the girl dropped on her fucking face. I was laughing. I feel like that was the, the highlight of my day. I swear to you. I've never in my life laughed the way I fucking laughed that day. The girl literally was acting like she was walking away from, the, from everything, going to the car. Everybody's standing there. Lani, the camera guy, Victor. Victor recorded it because he showed everybody when she dropped on her face. I was busting up. Victor took out his camera and was showing everybody in the AP when she went home. And he was busting the fuck up. Everybody was laughing. We all tried to record it, but he was like, no, 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 I'm going to get in trouble. Bro, I wanted the footage so bad. And I, if Lani's a bad girl, Lani will put that footage in the show. Lani is a bad girl. She will put it in the show when this girl dropped on her face. When I tell you, she did a 360. She did. She literally looked to see if anybody's watching her. But as she's run, this is a. And you dropped, dropped in the, the bush because you're fat and sour and you can't manage your fucking weight. She dropped in the bush, literally dropped in the bush. That like her her big well self was like just slumped on the bush, bruv. I was literally busting the fuck up. I think I almost pissed myself the way I laughed. Did it? Burner SP. Everybody was laughing. So it was so fucking bad. You can't try to to run up on someone when the main fucking door's locked to get to the apartment. How are you even getting through? She's gone home. Everybody understand the girl wants to fight me for her career. She wants to be the next big thing on social media. She wants to be Miss Our Fabulous in 2019 ever. And it's never gonna happen because I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction. I'm not scared of you. I don't give a fuck about you. You know where I live, you know where I lay in my head. If you was bad guy and went to fight me so bad, you'll pull up to my blood clot doorstep. What you know what you're doing, you're very calculated. You, you love this whole social media excitement. You love it. I don't love it no more, baby girl. I, I've done it for five years of my life. It's draining, it's tiring, it's exhausted. I suffer from high blood pressure. You are not going to kill me before I have my blood clot pick me then. So you see this whole social media drama like I told you already? I'm done with it. I don't give a fuck about it no more. Unless a girl put their hands on me and touches me, whatever I do in the eyes of the Lord is so fucking defense because no girl is going to hit me and I don't fuck it up. But I'm never going to go out my way to hit a girl first. I'm not going to put my hands on a female. I will get in trouble and I'll get arrested and I'll get a criminal record. My career, you're not going to fuck up my life for me. So whatever you don't want to do, do your worst. Goody has turned up. Goody's turned up to the house. I've asked Goody if she can come do my hair. If we could, if she can shoot content with me. I wanted to do my whole YouTube intro. Like I, I said to myself, you know, fuck this show. I'm not on this show no more. I told Lani I quit. I told everybody I'm not a part of this show no more. It's a draw out. I don't, I don't want to be a part of UK baddies. I've seen that girls are trying to set me up. Girls are trying to plot on me, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with it. It's too much drama. Do you know what I'm saying? So Goody's come now. Hey guys, it's Goody the Stylist. You know, you can get me on Instagram. Goody the Stylist is my handle or really Life Goodies, my main account. All bookings are set to on both accounts. So, anywho, let's get down to the nitty gritty because we already know what I'm about. I get right down into the dirt and the mud. Once I've obviously now entered 
Croatia discreetly because I was only there for his head. I was not here for the drama and I was not here for the BS because I didn't have time for that. I have time for combs and gels and all of that type of stuff. Once I had obviously landed, the same taxi that brought me to the villa is the same taxi that we used to obviously go and buy food. And Within the process of us getting the taxi to the food shops, we was waiting for another person to come that was staying in our villa, which was obviously Bernard. He was getting his dicks up by tomorrow, which is why we had to wait so long for him to come. When they've obviously come now, Tamara is into the car and we're all obviously realising now this is the same girl at the time we thought that had obviously leaked their villa's address mm -hmm. the night before I came. But it was C. That but it was actually C, the man, which I always say, that obviously leaked the address. <laughs> With that being said, Shelley's obviously stepped out of the car and went to go and confront Tamara about leaking the address. Before she even got to confront her, Tamara miraculously told the cab driver to lock the doors and they drove off within 50 miles per hour which didn't make any sense mm -hmm. was the, tomorrow was the one that was telling everyone in the villa that you're here she yeah. told she saw you yeah nobody in the villa knew you so were here. with that being said now i didn't know I, I came to the villa and none of those other bitches in that house know me apart from only three individuals which we already know who know me about 20 minutes after we came back from the shop to the villa We've put out all the food, we're vibes and I'm playing basketball. Renee's now calling my name saying, Goody, come up here now, they're really mixing you. So I'm thinking, no one can't mix me because no one doesn't know I'm here and I haven't announced anything. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, I'm not part of the show, so my name should be literally just mixed. came to do my hair for my YouTube intro. But I've obviously found out what the mix was. One, two of the security guards came forward alongside with Renee and said to me how that... Puff Puff had obviously met Head's phone to come and call them to come and obviously state certain things mm -hmm. that didn't need to be stated because one, you're stating the obvious and two, you're stating things to people who already watch me on social media which we was all laughing about in the video multiple times on how I'm on TikTok live and they watch me and how that I'm really funny and how that when it does get to that I need to charge it up and start cussing them but the same way how they're doing us. So it was like... We just laughed it off. We was very fucking confused to why Puff Puff was calling the security guards. She literally called them to tell them about Goody or what Goody is or Goody sexuality or whatever. But the thing is, everyone knows about Goody. You're calling these two men to tell them about her, but she, they already know. It's like, they didn't care. The reason why they didn't care because she wasn't stepping her boundaries. She wasn't acting so feminine. Like, she wasn't doing the most. She was actually acting like a guy. Like, she was just being normal. So, at the end of the day, you calling their phone, you, you was trying to get them to start on her. But it didn't work. It didn't work. It backfired. It backfired on you and your little matey because let's remember something. Security guards didn't come to our villa confiscating anyone's phones at night time. That being said, we all brushed it underneath the water because we all know she was lying. Prior to that, when I did land, my phone was flat dead for over two, three hours. So I didn't even get to speak, make any snaps or announce to anybody I'm here. So when they got this phone call, we were very surprised because we're all thinking, well, good this is what I'm saying. Anybody. The reason why we know her phone was dead because when she came with the driver, she had to transfer money to her main account from her savings and her phone was dead completely and she left the driver downstairs for a very long while a good time, and yeah. she went upstairs to charge her phone to move money she's moved the money gone downstairs to, um, to literally pay for the taxi We've, i've taken back my charge because my phone was dead so i've literally started charging my phone but her phone is now dead again but she basically to pay for the cab so after that within like two minutes the phone is up dying because we was waiting in the taxi for Bella to come yeah, while Tamara to was sucking his wood the night before. Probably no, Tamara, to. Tamara, you are a naughty little fucking girl. She is, isn't it? Yeah, you're so <laughs> fucking mixed up. I'm now trying to put two and two in my mind and think to myself, who actually could have told them that Goody's here? Because the reality of it is, no one didn't know I was here, but chipped into my head, Tamara. When you look at it, we saw Tamara when Shelly wanted to come out the car and confront her. When she just came back from getting her dick appointment because she got fucked up by Bernard. Exactly. So with that being said, she obviously stated mm. the obvious. Oh, they've even bought a light-skinned girl, which I do have on receipts, which you obviously hear. Because we always come in the receipts. She's obviously said to me... ...that she's going to bring me. 
Oh, okay, makes sense. Yes, she's been mentioning from prior that she might bring you. It was never confirmed, but it was a something in the works kind of thing. So when I said now, guys, they even brought a light skin girl. They said that's not a girl. It's a boy. So this is that what I'm saying. That's because yes, I was yes. thinking, how the fuck does anyone know I'm here? I'm, I didn't even tell anyone. The only person that knew was Lani's bedroom, which is the director, is Blanco, because she said, Goody, go down and pat them and tell them everyone's moving red and embarrassing. And because I was cool with both sides, I tried to do that. But once I heard my name got mixed and then when Valentina made the light, I said, Oh, but what you should have done, what she should have done, if you was actually good with both sides, just come to our side first. That's the realest. So show us. Like once we came back from Croatia, yeah, I was the one that went back to the villa and I said, oh, they brought a light-skinned girl and they tried to come out of the, the basically, the car to come and jump me. It took, she's talking about you? Yeah, but that's where, she, that's where Puff Puff effed up because remember, Tamara doesn't know me. So when she's gone back to them and said, oh, a light-skinned girl, they said to her, that's not a girl, that's a you. And then that's when they said, that's goody because the only light-skinned person that's going to come down that they already thought of was coming down was me because obviously the night before remember you guys had already told Lani that I was coming yeah, so yeah, it's just yeah. like when Puff Puff was doing all of this Lani already knew that I was already I were gonna come I mean, he's, I mean, he's just come from the airport we're trying to use this taxi man as much as possible because he's our only resort the guys had a car but they don't have no license for, to, for that car the car is registered in Chrissy, Lani's girlfriend's name. Yeah. And they wasn't trying to chance it. They wasn't trying to drive the car or anything like that. So when the taxi guy came, we jumped in the taxi. We've gone and got food and stuff. And he's dropped us back home. But obviously, as we're about to drive out, we've seen Tamara. And Tamara is doing the dirty walk of shame because Ben has come out of the back seat, jumped in the van. Tamara looks on her face and is like, oh my gosh, now they all know I fucked him. <laughs> Respectfully, we know you fucked him. I've always been the one to say pussy off around my age. Right. But the thing is, you have a boyfriend. That's that your fucking boyfriend paid for the villa for you. But these times, you have a next man that you've only met within 72 hours whacking out your box. And you are yucking him off. Because this is the thing. He came back to the villa and he made it so bait as well. Like, he like, just did it yeah. And then, before you even go and wash the plaque and the come off of your tongue and mouth, You've gone back to the villa to come and talk about you've seen a girl who you don't even know. So then that's when I knew the Puff Puff did definitely puff herself up to mix me because Tamara doesn't know me from anywhere, which is why she said there was another light-skinned girl, which you all know you didn't see another light-skinned girl there. Because where's the girl? Because where is the girl? It, that's when Puff Puff thought, all right, cool. Now's my time to start a little bit of mix-up. Mix yeah. But it backfired and failed because you obviously thought that you doing that was going to start some mm. BS, but it ended up backfiring on your matey, Emil, who had to run up the stairs and obviously hand over his phone. We also and you know what? This is the thing, like, I'm not going to lie to us. Our phone only got taken away, like, once. That's when they went over there and confiscated everyone's phone. But our phone only got taken away once. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, our phone got taken away the day that their phone got taken away. Other than that, our phone didn't get taken away because realistically, we was we just wanted to have fun. We wanted to actually go out, have fun, have a good time, socialize with the talk, the, the people that live in this country, do we, holidays, like yeah. holiday stuff, taking content, taking pictures. Exactly. We did not care about having this show anymore because we checked out of it. We've come to our senses and we're like, you know what? We've seen what's going on. We've seen the mix up. We've seen the drama. We see what they're trying to do. We're not a part of it no more. We told Lani we're not a part of it no more. She kept begging, she kept begging, her team kept begging, kept begging. Every minute the camera crews would be begging like, oh please, we need content, we need footage, we don't have enough footage, we're literally running low on footage, we need more footage, can we, can we stage fights? The fuck do you mean stage fight? And the thing that was pissing me off is that Lani was saying, when you're fighting, just one or two punches. What are you talking about, one or two no punches? No one's doing one or two punches. We're getting right in. No one's doing one or two punches. No one's got time to stand there and do one or two punches. That's not fighting then. It's not real fight then. It's just fake fight for you to get your little views. With that being said, it then came to a point. I've obviously entered Croatia being cool with the people that I know. Because as far as I'm concerned, I didn't have an issue with anybody. Because mm. it was just the other day I was buying bitches, Baileys and Fanks. Because they were going through their situation, which is a lie. Who's that? Puff Puff. Puff. 
Yeah. So with that being said, I don't understand why she decided to pick up a phone call to be Inspector Gadget to be calling anybody. Like show belongs to you. But why would you buy her babies? <laughs> I felt sorry for her because she was going through a situation with the friend that obviously sexually assaulted her. Her friend that she said. Which she said she has CCTV, but we ain't seen the CCTV. Also, I just found it very upsetting that someone I looked out for would obviously go behind my back and secretly call security guards to inform them what. Knowing the situation I have already, someone that claims they're about realness and is my friend and all of this, mm. why would you put me in that situation? Knowing what could have potentially happened. happened. Cause what if these guys was absolutely scumbags? Like what if they was absolutely scumbags and they found out that she's really a guy trying to be a girl or whatever? Exactly. They could have done something to harm her. So I feel like Puff Puff even going out her way, the moment she found out that Goody was in Croatia in our AP with everyone, she just called them up to say, you know that he's a And when you're coming on the internet and trying to deflect and blame it on the other girls in the house as i said the only other girl it could have been is tamara but tamara didn't say that because she didn't know that i was a you so with that being said you knew what you was doing your intentions didn't work out so it backfired moving forward i then messed up her and i then end up saying to her oh like what's going on because shelly needs to get her money back um She's obviously then said to me, oh, Shelly's not supposed to be here. Renee's showing her the full conversations, but we've got the, Renee's whole phone in our hand. Really? And you know what it is? They tried to, they tried to get me and Shelly to turn on each other because they tried, they, they tried to say how much I was talking shit about Shelly in Lani's conversation on Instagram. You see me? One thing about me, I have my receipts. I gave Goody and I gave Shelly my phone freely. And I said, go on the conversation between me and Lani and tell me where you see me disrespecting my friend. Are you fucking dumb? Let's not do that. This is why I don't like the f these females because they're weird females, bro. So they went through my chat with Lani and not once did I disrespect La um, Shelly. Not once was I chatting down on my friend. And Lani said out of her mouth she was going to pay Shelly half the money back for her flight that is what she said the only reason why shelly kept saying she wants her money she wants her money is because we saw how lani was moving we saw that lani couldn't be trusted and lani was doing this whole going back to that villa be mixed up come back to this villa be mixed, be mixed up. up like she kept trying to stir the pot she kept trying to cause unnecessary drama for her own fucking benefit and it didn't just didn't make sense at all so that's the reason why Goody had to, Goody had to step in to try get Puff Puff to get Lani to run back Shelly's money. I'm having a conversation with Puff Puff. In the means of it, Shelly obviously is conversating with Puff Puff through my Snapchat and obviously cussing her and everything. She wants her money. I was supposed to be on the show. This is the text messages. Puff Puff is now saying, "Oh no, but it's not the same text messages. Ren's lying, but she ended up didn't showing any evidence, and it was." All to this day, it's still be the same evidence. That, this is my problem. Yeah. This girl here is so fucking weird. Like, how are you gonna say Renee was talking shit about Shelly, but you can't show no form of evidence or fucking proof that I was talking shit about my fucking friend? Let's be for real. You said I was in a DM with Lani talking shit to Lani about Shelly. I've given them my phone and I've shown them my phone, and they've gone through. All the conversation between me and fucking um, Lani. Exactly. And not once did I ever speak bad about my friend. Like, what are you talking about? The only time I mentioned Shelly to Lani was when I brought it to Lani and said, I feel like she'd be a great person for your show. Lani said, thank you. I'm going to reach out to her. They got into contact. They started speaking. Other than that, I never spoke to Lani about my friend. So I don't understand what Puff Puff is saying. But at this point, it's not mental health. And, uh, she needs to be sectioned because it's the lies that she... Like, she lies so much that she can't back her lies and show receipts. And that's what's pissing me off. Then what I'm telling her, okay, go through Lani's phone then. Let's see what, let's see the conversation. Or now you can't take Lani's phone and go through Lani's phone, you know? Go by it. So with that being said, it got to a point where the, the payment for the flight was sent. Before it got sent, it even came to a point where she thought that Shelly was lying about the price. Because she even tried to say Shelly screenshot me. The, the price of how much the flight was, how like anyone flight? needs to lie. I think it was like three bills something. Obviously, 
We ain't got nothing to lie about. Should he send her the receipt of the flight? If I feel like if Goody didn't get involved, she wouldn't. Shelly wouldn't have got her money back. Yeah. Because Lani was doing too much fake behavior. Like she was moving like some snake. Like she would say she's gonna do this, she's gonna do that, but she doesn't do it. So I feel like you actually getting involved. That's the only reason why Shelly even got her money back. Exactly. I thought Shelly didn't even get half her money back. She got the whole money. The back. whole money. And then, even while I'm still having this conversation with Puff Puff. In the back of my mind, it's still tempting me to just... Should I not just switch on her and question her? Why did you call the security guards? But I said, you know what? I didn't come here for this. My peoples, I knew what I came here for. They already told me, Goody, go here to do this. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, because let's just clear the air. I had a conversation with Blanco. And I was already on my way to Croatia, going to Croatia. When I spoke to Blanco the night before I flew out... Blanco said to me, if I am going, do not go for mix-up and be my word of voice. And when you go to the villa, check them and let them know them lot are all moving weird. And that is only to the people that me and Blanco know. Because I could care less about any other people. Because as Rene stated, we don't know them and neither does the internet and neither does the rest <laughs> of the world. Money got sent. We're having fun. Mind our own business. <laughs> So, with that being said now, within the next 40 minutes of the money being sent to Shelly, Puff Puff has now gone alive and started to cuss me now, cussing Shelly and then cussing Renee. Cool, I can kind of understand to why you're cussing Renee and Shelly. I don't even understand why you were cussing anybody because there was nothing even going on. So, to be honest, you should, I don't understand why you were even cussing anybody. I don't anybody. know why she even cussing me because I don't give this girl a response. I literally ignore her like the fat loaf of bread that she is. I don't even give this fucking girl any response of me. She's a loaf of bread. I don't have time for the loaf of fucking bread. Do you understand what I'm saying? I leave the bread there because the yeast in that bread will flatten out. And when it flattens out, you're fucking flat as a fucking pizza. So I ain't got time to go back and forth with that loaf of bread. So you go back online. After you've got Lani's sister to transfer Shelly her 300 bills, you've gone online to cuss us all out on social media now. For and what? For what? I just wasn't comprehending it. I said, do you know what? I even said in the villa to you, I was like, to be honest, I don't want to entertain the lies because it don't look a good look. Remember mm -hmm. I was telling you about mm -hmm. the man and that? I was just like, it, it, it's just not a good look because when you're, especially if you have business brands, like, I understand people like Puff Puff, they have these imaginary incomes that they like to say because like, I can't see her clients and I can't see anything that she does apart from her GoFundMe. But with that being said, it's just like, those people don't, when she's doing all of that, I'm just thinking, what are you doing? I just sat down and had a conversation with you. Ten minutes ago, ten minutes ago, you, ago you just you sent the money. money. Even everything though, was good. Everything was good. You even gone to security guards and made the light. I didn't even check you about that because you know what? We all sat down and laughed at it because we knew what you was doing. We knew your in intentions, but it just didn't work. I wasn't entertaining it because I didn't come there for that. So I didn't entertain the lives. Now when she's done that now, it was about... Two attempts of lives she had done up until when she started to call one of my ex friends' name and started to say how that he's beat me up in the past and all of this and all of that. Hold on, I'm but I don't need to get into it, but that person knows what happened that day, and it was definitely the other way around. I wouldn't even say I beat them up, but they didn't lay hands on me. I can guarantee you that for a fact, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I beat that person up because I didn't. I gave them a little few pumps, that was about it. Do you understand? If I'm going to come out here and lie, I don't need to do that on mm. camera and on the internet. Just That's not real. me. Do you get it? I'm going to be real. I never beat the person up and they didn't beat me up. I gave them a couple licks and that was about it. Mm. Their friend stepped in to defend it and it was dead from there. That's about it because their friend didn't even hit me. And that it was squashed and dead. Being that person, it was cool up until entering the villa. It was just sitting down on the phone to me and Godet Philip on May the 24th cursing you out. Wait, what? Yeah, because I told her that too. What happened? Emmy was on the phone to go to Philip, cursing her out when she went on live to go and talk about her friend Aaron. And I don't know how Gonna Philip was in the mix somehow, but Emmy was basically trying to charge up Gonna Philip to cuss her and dissing her out. And but this is my problem. But Emmy was her so called best friend in but the house. But this is my problem. All did my, when me and her did my sit down video or whatever, she kept telling me that Gunday went to her and told her that I would sit down in my living room, down in my living room and watch her YouTube videos. And I used to cuss her out. What the fuck? The Philip does not even like you. I've been friends with this guy for years. So I know for a fact in our friendship, we've never sat down and watched your YouTube video. Blanco, yeah.
But you fucking know. I can tell you for a fact. Me and God have sat down and probably watched one or two of Blanco's story times. To God. Mwah, who made me. But that puff puff loaf of fucking bread. I've never fucking sat down and put that big sour gal on my TV screen. Well, I paid for a 70, 70 inch TV to be watching loaf of bread. Are you fucking mad, rude girl? Stop lying. Lies. It's not even a white lie. She's that sick. She's sick. That's what it is. Head HS needs to sort it out. So I've gone on social media live on my YouTube and I've gone mad. I've started shouting, cussing. And the thing is because there's no hot water in the house. There's no food. Everybody that was sleeping in the AP felt violated. Felt very much disrespected. The security guards was mad. SP Burner was mad. They was chatting shit about Lani. They was cussing out Lani. They was basically telling me, like, let's start our own show. Like, they came up with the name Anti Baddies UK. It was never me that came up with the name. It was SP and Burner that came up with the name Anti Baddies UK. And because of the whole situation that was going on, they was like, bro, nah, fuck this bitch. Fuck her, bro. Because she's violated man. She's violated man's gangster. So I'm on my life going mad, going cuckoo now. Because I feel like. As someone that's Rene, you got Miss R. Fabulous, the only person that's known out of every fucking female in this villa, you've got me on your show. And all you've done is left me in the AP for five days, no food, no water, nothing. You, like, you wrote a contract for everybody to sign. And you said that food will be provided, that you will pay the, um, their flights and all these stuff. You've got people in the villa with no food, no water, nothing. So after I've done my whole social media rant, I've gone viral for cussing out Lani. Obviously now, Lani's come to the house. She's in her car. They're saying how much we can't go downstairs to speak to her because she's scared. She's scared if we're going to fight her, whatever. So they was like, one by one, we're going to come and get you lot to come downstairs and speak to her in the car. Lani didn't even drive into the drive through with it. Lani waited at the side of the road, on the main road. We had to all come one by one, escorted by an SP or burner to have a conversation with Lani. In between, like basically in front of the boxes that I was wearing or whatever. Not in front of where my underwear was because I was wearing my underwear and then I was wearing a boy boxes behind it. So I put it where the boy boxes was, whatever. And I went downstairs and I was recording her because one thing about me, I have to record this bitch because I found out that she's a snake. She's a liar. She'll talk shit about the girls to us and then she'll go back and tell them that we said this and we haven't said nothing. I stared to the car and I started recording her and I'm talking to her. But my emotions started getting in, I'm getting upset, I'm getting angry because it's like, you're so fake, you're such a liar. Like, this girl would come to me, cry to me, I'm hugging Lani, showing Lani so much love. She would tell me how much these girls have tried to fight her, she has to sleep with a screwdriver, they've kicked her out of the room, she's sleeping on her the sofa, she doesn't have a room in the villa, she's literally living like a fucking shit person, she would tell me that she hasn't showered in four fucking days, she would cry, she would literally look such a hot mess, and when you look at Lani, you could tell that she's actually going through it, she told me and she said to me that I thought that the whole Tia and Wayne situation was depressing. Like, this, for me, Renee, has broken me. This is so depressing, Renee. And I was like, Lani, you're the show. It's your show. If you don't want certain people to be on here because they violate you and they make you feel like you're unsafe, then you don't have to let them be on this show. Like, she was saying to me that the girls kicked her out of her room. She sleeps with a screwdriver. They literally tried to fight her. If she doesn't agree to them or don't give them back their phones, they will try and beat her up. They will beat all of them on her. And she's so scared. Like, she said literally that her and her sister and her girlfriend, Chrissy, are scared for their life. Like, they can't do nothing but just let them have their own way.
Lani, what are you doing? I've come here to I've come here to talk to me. I'm, I'm a, to on, on my own. Can I say something? I'm actually on my own. Who fucked up who, please, Lani? I never that? said that, Renee. Lani, I was in the Renee, line. Renee, Renee, she asked me, is she was basically saying that you said that she's a pussy. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, she said that she's a pussy. Lani, I was in the line. 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 Lani, she said you said she's a pussy and she's not on badness. Lani, she wasn't. You came to the villa and you told I me she. Lani, stop. We're not, not gonna. Alpha. If you're gonna talk to me, be a real bitch, please. Because when you came here, what did you say? Valentino wants to talk to you, but she don't want to fight you, Renee. And I turned around and I said to you, I'm on it. Okay, let me explain. I want my big one. That's what I said to Renee, you. Let me, please, you said, Renee, please, Renee, Renee, don't fight. You can you can yes. talk. Don't let her draw you out. Renee, I let said me, no problem. Okay, Renee, let me explain. If that's what you meant in the beginning, then it's a misunderstanding. Because both of you, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Renee, when I brought Valentina here, initially, I swear on my life, the reason I actually thought she, Valentina would help because the girls in the house is to Valentina. So, because you were calm, she, you were calm, she was calm at the house. I thought you guys would sit there. It was going so well, I thought you would resolve Lani, it. let me just talk and you could talk. Okay, okay. You came to the house and you said, I want to get you and Valentina to talk. I said, what's she on? Yeah. If she wants to fight, I'm on it. I right? You then turned around and you said to me, Lani, Valentina don't want to fight you. She's so calm. She doesn't want, she's not on it and stuff like that. I said, okay, no problem. Because you tell, you turn around and said to me, I can't fight somebody that doesn't want to fight me. Yeah. And I said, cool. Right. She came in the house. We sat down at the, each of us is at the end of the table, Lani. The end of the table. I have one man behind me. She's got one man behind her, Lani. You understand? We had a good conversation. In the conversation, there was no... Oh, she's in the road. Oh. In the conversation, Lani, Sorry. there was no reason for our beef. Like, there was no direct issue. Was it was up. about God and Philip. The whole situation was about my ex-best friend. Mm. It was no real issue. I asked her, what is your issue? She's waffling. She's waffling for camera time. You understand? And I still kept it cool. I was smiling. I was respectful, Lani. I respected you because you said, Rene, please. Everybody told me, Rene, please. Since I've been in this house, I've shown respect to everyone. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she stood up from where I'm from in the hood. When you stand up and you dash something, you're on something. So when I've come to her and I've merged her now, I got five people pulling me back, Lani. And she's no, hold fight. on, hold on. She stood there, Lani, with Berna next to her, and she was not moving. She yeah, wasn't doing nothing. But, you know that I'm lying. But five no, man's holding back Valentina, bro. What did you say? That's true, right? So why are you entertaining this fuckery? No, all I hold on and hold on. When SP pulled me upstairs, locked me in the room and told me I can't come out the room until I calm down. I'm sorry to even be shy, but I'm e I'm heated. Oh, it's understandable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wait, he said he gave me a cigarette. SP gave me a cigarette to calm me down. He said, call your man. I found my fucking nigga on the phone. I calmed the fuck down after I had that cigarette. Renee, you didn't hear me shouting from that. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, you Valentina's heard that I'm locked up. She's tried to think, okay, Renee's gone now. Let me try and seem like I'm the bad girl. What did she start doing? Cussing downstairs, crying downstairs. Oh, you told me to suck my mum. You told me to suck my mum. Then it listen to me. She's run and dash and dash herself in the fucking bush. <laughs> this has gone too far, Lani. Let me tell you something. From day one, I told you I don't want to come on your fucking show. But because you're so nice to me, I said, yeah. Right now, my nigga, I'm in tears because I've been disrespected. You see me? I'm on fighting any and anybody. We no fucking lose. I'm not a pussy. Right. But the way you made me look on the internet. Right, listen, no, listen. bro, you can't come near me, bro. No, no, because no, I'm fucking going to stay in the car. Because yeah, I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurt. fucking hurt. I'm hurt too. No, you're not hurt, my nigga. Because me. girls disrespected you. I and I, no, I let me land. Like let me land. Let me fucking land. Okay, go on. You've come to me and told me girls are disrespecting you. Girls want to beat you up. And I've had your fucking back. Mm. I've given you advice on how to run this shit. I said, Lani, stand up on your two blood clad foot. It's your show. You're the CEO. You don't need them. They need you. Nobody knows these crusty fucking girls. They know you. Right. You're giving them a platform how to fucking eat. You've got the biggest influence on your fucking show, your treatment like I'm a little girl, Lani. I'm not, Renee. No. Yes, you are. Every, Renee, man, 
every man here Renee, can tell you Renee, that you Lisa. are. No, Renee. you know what it is? I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep Renee, it a buck. Let Lenny, one second. No, Lenny, one second. Renee, let me speak. Let me No, no. Let me one second. Head them out. Head them out. I'm going to say one thing, No, no, stop, 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 stop. I understand. I'll just start talking, my nigga. I'll just start talking. Let me talk. Let me talk, please. My nigga, I'm going to say one thing. Them guys over there are dissing, man. The only person that's been backing us is Renee. They're over there chatting shit, bro. Moving mad, Lenny. They're not respecting your thing. I said this to you. They are not. They're violating you. They're violating you, Lenny. And if fucking Renee's the only one, brother, what I was sleeping. I'm waking up to hear Renee fucking I woke up at 8 a.m. because Lani sit she's sitting on live. Valentine's sitting on calling these niggas broke. You know these niggas ain't broke. I didn't know she did that. I'll be real. She's on live and she's calling them broke and telling them they're in here with Fatty, man. You can't do that. Niggas in my hood are calling me asking what's going on with me and S fam, man. I'm weird niggas in that. They told me she was going home. She was never going home. So why she not gone? Because me and you haven't spoken. She was actually going to go, no, 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 Renee, 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 Renee. Respectfully, it took a, it actually took a lot of me to say, I'm not going to lie, I really want Renee on the show. She was sitting in the living room and everyone was there. I was like, I'm, I'll have to be honest because then I'll be fake. I want Renee on the show. Yes, Valentina, you did your big one and you've, and you've been entertaining thus far. She's not doing no wait, wait, big one. I'm just, she has I'm a just telling you what I said. I'm mm -hmm. just relaying what I said to her. Mm -hmm. But I said, I have to be honest, I want Renee on the show. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, she, you got, you both can't be here mm -hmm. because she she just doesn't want you. So wait, 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 wait. I said, and then guess what there. she said to the me? The two stars. The two stars. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, guess sorry. what she said to me? The four stars. She yeah. just said to me, Lani. To be honest with you, you've been very nice to me, so it's it's fine. She said it's okay. I'll go home. The only time she 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 never ended up going home is because it's it just. So basically, one minute she'd go home, and then because the online back and forth started getting worse, 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 worse and worse, it, she just didn't go home. But g genuinely, there was a point where, where Valentina basically said, "I'm not gonna beg, Lonnie. I'm not gonna another beg to join your show." Another thing, I feel like you don't respect me or anybody in this house because you're putting our life at risk in mm -hmm. an another country. You cannot be bringing people to where we lay our fucking heads. Yeah, I don't know the these females. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. I don't know them. Remember, they haven't seen me in the main villa. So what the fuck makes you think they should see me in my house? Facts. They haven't yeah. seen me I in the main Lani, villa. Do you know what they did? Do you know what they did? That's fucked up. But you never know about it. When you brought those two girls, Tammy and fucking C, they linked. They shared the fucking location, Lonnie. And they planned it, Tony. She, she said it brawling in our faces. Yeah, she she said, she, and I she never said that she had the postcode and she was but leaving red. the But hey, no, 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 let me finish because I haven't finished. You understand? They've told you that they've leaked our location. Bear in mind, it's not just me and the girls. It's your niggas. I didn't know they did that. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then guess what? They've all come at the house to come to link us here. Not even link to jump us here. Late at night, they've come out of their village to walk here, to come here. Nobody knew if it wasn't for the white people that rushed them, it would have been blood shed. No, it's, it's, it's really far. No, no. Tammy said, listen to me. Was Hello. Was Hello. Hello. Was Hello. 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 Tammy said they was on their way here yeah, to come bro. and fuck up everybody. Sorry. It was late at night, bro. Interrupt, interrupt you. Sorry. You need to even you need to talk to Rainbow and Amy as well because that is fucking what's going on in them as okay, well. Okay, that's fine. I cool. will. Carry on. Carry on. No, because I'm telling you how it is because I'm heated now. You've got them link coming here, bro. You brought three girls that I've never seen in this fucking villa because you haven't even made me go to the main villa to see anybody. So what makes you think you can bring random girls to where I lay my fucking head with a team? Mm -hmm. And you got girls plotting to do things to people in the house in their sleep. Mm -hmm. okay, 